some of you asked about mouth ulcers. How do you manage them with treatment? And uh, mouth ulcers are, what we call them, you, late term would be canker sores, but in medical world, we call them aphthous ulcers. These are small things, but real uh, nuisances. And I will say that occasional canker sores are normal, but people with Crohn's and colitis and really other systemic inflammation uh, can develop uh, canker sores or aphthous ulcers uh, too with greater frequency and in greater numbers. Some people with Crohn's have multiple aphthous ulcers at, at one time. So things to think about, these can be made worse or can be brought on by low B12 levels, low iron levels, low folate levels, low zinc levels. So it's worth testing for those things and possibly taking supplements. So those are some maybe reversible causes related to nutrition. If you've got canker sores, it makes sense to avoid things which are irritating, uh, spicy foods, salty foods, acidic foods, because these can really irritate these little sores and, and make them worse and harder to heal. If they're problematic and you've got IBD, well, again, top of the list is still treating active IBD, because some of these uh, canker sores come and go when the IBD is active or control. So having lots of canker sores may raise that your your Crohn's disease is acted up, you may need treatment for the Crohn's itself. But of course, you can use things like saltwater rinses. There's some over-the-counter for example, that you can dab right onto the canker sore itself with a steroid and an anti-inflammatory that can that can help to heal uh, a bit faster. Uh, but you know, and in, in rare cases, you know, people need to have uh, uh, anti-inflammatory medications, even uh, courses of steroids to, to get these under control, but we do try to avoid doing that. 